Alrighty. Let us get the spread. Or something. Uh, do I need that? Let's gain this grain. Technically means the same thing. Me thinks. Alright, my mic is still turned down from yesterday, so let me know if my mic audio is the problem. Let's see, how many hard pieces do we have? We have one. I need to get two more. Mending rod is useless. I warped here because I thought, oh, well, I can just start City in the Sky stuff. Well, no, I still need two hard pieces. <sighs> okay, the, uh, the only thing the ball and chain is used for outside of Snow Peak Ruins is getting a single hard piece. And I don't actually remember where it is. I think it's in North Hyrule Field. Ball and chain. I didn't realize Link was married. I need a laugh track sound clip so I can play it for bad jokes. Uh, I don't know if Zeno is watching yet, but it'd be really useful if I knew where the ball and the uh, ice block cave is. I am fairly confident it's in North Hyrule Field. But actually, I'm gonna walk here because there is something in Central Hyrule Field that I can get. Yeah, if you can pull up where the uh, ice block cavern is for me, I don't remember where it is. Alright, I really hope I don't hear the postman. God! Yes, yes. Oh, three letters. Oh, okay. Yes. Wrong button. Uh, all right, talk to you, not R Renato. Yanato. And Yanato. Might as well save while I have this open. North Hyrule Field, northern end at the base of the mountain. a hard piece I can get with this guy, but it takes too long. It's also expensive. I do have bugs I could turn in to uh, Agatha. But I don't need them. In, so I need to. This art piece can be a little bit tricky. Never mind. I think this is a hard piece. No, it's not. This is a hard piece. Actually, be up on the mountain. Okay. Let me just run through 
Sound is wolf flying. That's actually the wrong. Mm. Oh, okay, it's fine. I can go through here. Okay, just uh, turn this into a PowerPoint. No big deal. Alright, I swear there is some, uh, horse grass or whatever the fuck it's called. It's part of Pyro Field. Game AC is too strong. By the way, I think the one human character who isn't afraid of Wolf Link is uh, the Lantern guy, the dude with the afro. Alright, Northern and at the base of the mountain. I actually think I might see the entrance, or it could be the entrance. But yeah, the afro guy is the one character who, is, one human character who isn't afraid of Wolf Link. He actually refers to Wolf Link as Doggy. Alright, so the wall should be visibly bombable. Let me start from over. Zeno doesn't normally get this hard piece. I do. Well, fuck you. Up oh, there is. Wrong button. Well, the next problem is I'm going to have to find another heart piece to get. Because I could have sworn that chest in central Hyrule Field was a heart piece. And it is, in fact, not a heart piece. idea, I think. Just kind of doing it the wrong way. Uh, wait.
Yeah, I grabbed both of them. like baby sliding puzzles for me. Uh, a very long time ago when I was being tested at the hospital because of my uh, autism diagnosis, the uh, person handling the test remarked at how quickly I was able to solve any of the puzzles that she gave me. I am extremely good when it comes to solving puzzles. <laughs> Assuming I'm not being, you know, fucking oblivious, of course. So yeah, if I haven't said it already, I do have autism, but it's borderline. I actually was tempted to throw it in the tags, but I decided against it. Because, you know, having autism is not really easy, but I try not to let it define me. Some people are, like, hesitant to reveal that they're autistic. I don't give a shit, because I don't see it as something that should be seen as negative. It's just that I don't need to bring it up all the time. Okay, so I need to think of another hard piece. My brain is super sad about this. I know of off the top of my head that I forgot. I didn't really need that love tap, but thank you. Let's see, I got both lantern caves. That was the ice hole cave. I think I know of one, actually. Hold on. I think I remember where it is. In the Sacred Grove, we fought the Skull Kid. There's a rock you can blow up, and there's a Poe in the rock, but if I remember correctly, you can dig underneath the rock, and there's a heart piece there. There are, like, two heart pieces that are like that, where they're uh, in a hole in the ground. And I'm pretty sure this is one of them. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on 
down. Thank you. to ignore the foe when I free him. I am fairly confident this one is a hard piece. slight issue it's going to be dark soon and the next sequence in the game is a little easier when it's daytime but i do not want to sit and wait for it to be daytime so this is a uh, tricky bit here Remember where Renato is. I think he's in here. Yep. Ooh. Ah, I've been waiting for you, Link. Fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to help Ilya recover her memory. Do you know it's Helmo's friend Shad? Well, it seems he is researching the heavens, and he has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. And, as I learned, Ilya was saved, she overheard someone talking about the Rod of the Heavens, or something like that. The Goran Elder believes that to help her regain her lost memories, we must piece together the fragments of her past. Which means, if we work our way backward from the very place where she lost her memory, we may find something that will restore it. Now we must retrace Ilya's path. I am certain it was Telma who cared for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? It would be best to speak with her first. Please, take this to Telma. It shames me to say it, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. <clears throat> we have a fighting chance, Link. Also, I don't know if it's actually required, but talking to the Goran Elder at some point during this sequence reveals that Darbus didn't actually know he was saved by a human, and it would be better for his pride if he doesn't know. Alright, opponent's here. It's just faster to warp. But I will need a Pona soon, and uh, having a Pona with me 
will actually make it a little faster to get to the next areas. Even though there's a warp point closer to there, I think it's still faster if you have a Pono with you. Because Opona's galloping speed is still faster than half of the trek being like just rolling. That's how fast Opona is. No, she's not, and there actually is a motorcycle in Breath of the Wild, if you have the DLC. Problem is, it goes so damn fast, it'll actually smack into objects that haven't loaded in yet, which Zeno found out. Ah, yeah, well... Egg, I guess. Oh, oh my! It isn't Link! You made it! How have you been, honey? Mercy, but you have good timing. I was just talking about you. Hey. Everyone, look. Link's come to see us. Yeah, I've already met them, Toma. Thank you. These are those friends I mentioned. The ones who are trying to help deal with all the troubles in Hyrule. Actually, there's one more of us, but he's doing a little research in Kakariko Village. His name's Shad. He's about the same age as you, I think. If you see him, you should try talking to him, honey. Oh, mercy, how could I forget? If you're going to Kakariko Village, be, sur be sure to give my regards to that adorable shaman, okay, honey? Well, you've come all the way here, honey, so why don't you relax a bit? Also, in certain parts of the game, you can find uh, the postman just hanging about. Kitty cat. Well, if it isn't from Renato, the shaman. All this right, and he doesn't bother to mention a thing about little old me? Honey, that is what I call rude. Well, there's no accounting for the foolishness of a man. At least I understand Ilya's situation now. Of course I can lend a hand for that adorable little girl. Hmm, what else do I know? First one to bring Ilya to this shop was that doctor. Maybe he knows something, but he's a crusty old bat, that's for sure. Hey. Ah, I've got it. Honey, you go ahead and take this to him. This magical little paper will get that codger talking. Sure it would be nice if she started remembering things soon, eh, Link? Would indeed. She's got something that's useful and would have actually been useful for the first half of the game. Yeah, uh... Part of the reward for this sequence is a uh, an item that lets you summon Epona anywhere, which is really useful and would have been way more useful earlier in the game. Believe the doctor is. This doctor is supposed to be the scientist doctor guy from Ocarina of Time in Majora's Mask. Eh, what's that? Just as I wondered who it might be, I see it's the admirable young lad who was willing to help the Zora boy for nary a single rupee. And what is it you want, lad? A physical? You have some money, don't you? By the way, that girl Ilya didn't mention anything about me, did she? Yeah, yeah. Well, look. I can't pay this off right now. I see Telma's hired you with some sort of heaviness strong army. me. But you'll have to wait. Look, lad, if I'd been able to sell the wooden statue that young lady had, I'd have been able to get the money. But see, I accidentally spilled medicine all over that little carving, which made it stink awfully. Put it outside to dry, but then... 
well, it was stolen. Who goes around stealing people's stuff like that? What a world. You have to always be on guard, eh? Uh, look, Mr. Heavy, at any rate, neither the money nor the carving is here, so I can't repay you. Now to work, to work. Yeah, what a terrible thing to steal something, like you took that statue off Ilya, you fucking bitch. I actually know where I'm supposed to go here, but I think you need sun. Actually, Zeno, did you ever confirm if you, uh, need the sun? It's like, I know who stole the statue, so I can just go to them. But I don't know if you actually need this. You don't? Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Oh, well, I, I don't need it, so I'm gonna go. But as it turns out, Louise is a stinky little cat. You're looking for the wooden statue that Italy I had, aren't you, dear? I think it's a coincidence that I happen to know it got stolen from the doctor's place? No. Yes, I'll admit. I took it. But then I was attacked by some sort of skeletal dog beasts who took it from me. I don't know why those beasts were after her statue. I thought it likely that she was in a dangerous spot, though. Those fiends lurk just outside the southern gate. Unfortunately, they only come out at night. And another thing. They always move around as a pack. You won't get that statue back unless you give them all a thrashing. The statue sounds like a key to getting Nelia's memory back. You must get it back. Oh, incidentally, it's night, so that's actually a good thing. That was a bow here. Oh, he gets to live. Honest, this is actually making me want to play Breath of the Wild again. Hi, Epona. Oh, wait. You can talk to Epona. Yeah, I haven't played Breath of the Wild in a long time. I know I've said before that I can't really enjoy it anymore. But I honestly do want to play it again. Haunts. What is this? I, I remember something. I was confined somewhere. Yes, and I was saved by whomever was confined with me. When that person set me free, they gave me this statue. Yes, yes, I remember that much. That means that person is still in trouble. Oh, what is wrong with me? I can't remember where that place was. Ooh, I remember. I thought I had seen that before somewhere. I belonged to the tribe that protected the Hylian royal family long ago. They worked in secret, so they lived in a lonely, forgotten place. 
I heard that tribe dwindled in the prolonged wars. If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to the Laneru province on the far side of the Bridge of Elden. But a rock slide blocked the way to the village long ago, so you can't get there anymore. What? Oh, I do not mean to worry, you little human. Problems like these are not problems to Gorons. Our Patriarch Jarvis will be waiting for you up ahead. Get your map to see where. I would try to find the path beyond the Bridge of Elden that leads to the Laneru province. Here it is night time, so the Gorn Night Market is open. Which is a good thing because I would like to replace my soup with a blue potion. Oh, my stream title is a reference to the dungeon we're doing. If you saw my tweet, it is the uh, City in the Sky. Which is my least favorite dungeon in the game, and as a matter of fact, is one of my least favorite dungeons in the entire franchise. Alright, I'm down a few arrows, which is not ideal. But I think I'll be fine. Something worth noting is that the city in the sky, which we'll be seeing in not too long of a time. Yeah, well the song is Spirit in the Sky. There is a song called City in the Sky, but my stream title is a reference to Spirit in the Sky. Um, what was the saying? Yeah. The City in the Sky is from Twilight Princess, and the Uka, which is Uku's race, is supposed to be people that originally lived in the City in the Sky, and they evolved into Uka. It is confirmed in the Hyrule Historia that the City in the Sky is actually Skyloft from Skyward Sword. And Skyloft, oh my god, that thing is still on. Skyloft is designed to look like the official art of the Sacred Realm from A Link to the Past. But I'm fairly confident it was confirmed that the City in the Sky and Skyloft are the same place. Oh my god, you stupid horse. Also, the Elder said that this village was locked or blocked off long ago, so how did Ilya get out? Because I think this whole game takes place over the course of a few days. Maybe a week at most. There is a hidden village up ahead, little human. The elders call it a forgotten place. The scent that has been burning my nostrils is the scent of evil. There is one powerful creature I've seen about. Under that beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are thirty, no, at most twenty of them ahead. They're probably just a small band of survivors. Ragged remnants who have settled leaderless into this village. That is all there are, little human? Then you alone are more than enough for them. You will have to defeat them all to save that girl's benefactor. Before you go, I will tell you the secret to best in them. Destroy them all before they spot you. Got it, little human? I 
Now for my favorite song in the game. Oh my god, that one between his arm. And the, uh... This is Impa. That's right. Telma can't be an Impa uh, analog. Owls of the beasts. They faded into silence. Eight. Are you? The Savior. It's you, the Savior. Please, please forgive me for not opening up the door. My name is Impaz. I'm the last resident of this poor village. My name comes from the Great One who built this village so, so long ago. This village was once the secret home of a proud tribe who served the royal family. But it fell into decline and became infested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. Excuse me for asking, but is your name... Link? Ah, I knew it. So then you saved that nice girl? How lovely. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come to help. That sweet girl. She worried about this old woman even as I helped her to escape from here. By royal order, I can't leave this place until a certain person arrives. No matter what terrible fate is visited upon it. Oh, but listen to me, Blatheron. I have a favor to ask. Would you help me return this to her? I think she always kept it close to her heart. Even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. Yeah, we'll get that item in a moment. I believe in my heart that it's kept me safe all this time. So please, I ask that you return it to that girl. Hey! 
that rod. Is that the Dominion Rod? Huh, could it really be? Are you the messenger to the heavens? Among the legends of my clan, there was a story from the time when the Uka still maintained contact with the royal family. Yes, it said that a mysterious rod was handed from or down from the people of the sky. It was called the Dominion Rod. The rod was only to be carried by the messenger to the heavens. The royal family needed to communicate with the Uka. From generation to generation, my ancestors have guarded the book that, by royal decree, is to be given to the messenger to the heavens. This is that book. Please, take it. This book is written in the ancient language of skywriting. I am so glad I stayed in this village. If I had not met that young girl, what would have become of me? Meeting that girl must have been ordained by the gods, so that I could be here today to pass on this knowledge. Uh. Alright, I sooner remember if I leave and come back, I can get the Howling Stone. Or do I actually have to return Elia's memory first? I always forget when you can get that Howling Stone. I know Zeno doesn't normally get it because he actually normally stops after a certain point with the hidden skills. I get all of them. I see no reason not to, honestly. That means I can get it now if I can transform here. Well, this, ch this chicken gives a hard piece. You have to talk to like 20 cats from around the game. I think returning Ilya's memory is technically optional, but it is useful because you get the uh, means of calling Epona at any point. Also, we are having chicken tacos tomorrow, which is going to be a nice supper start of classes. So, like I said, uh, classes start up tomorrow. I don't think it'll impact my stream schedule too much. Because I have explicitly set up my schedule to be based around my classes. So, it shouldn't get in the way, but I may occasionally have to cancel if I'm too exhausted from class. Use the texture from the canteen tables for a background. Oh my god. From the viral castle.
I realized I could just warp. No, I'm actually just gonna warp. Because I will be able to call upon her. Why the fuck does my clock keep turning the light off? God fucking damn it. Read the damn time if it's off. Yes, this feels so familiar. The scent of hay? Long ago, when we were young, you and I. You were always there. You were always beside me. Blink. You know, for some reason, I always thought Link was taller than Ilya, but they're about the same age. Or same height. This gift was meant for you. It was something I wanted to give you before you left on your journey. Please, Link, take it. You don't need to worry about me any longer. Whenever you return, I'll be waiting for you. Link, do you remember what I was saying about the Rod of the Heavens? Well, actually, it was about the messenger to the heavens who held the rod. The nice woman who saved me told me about it. Apparently, in this woman's village, they've guarded something for the heavenly messenger for generations, so they await him. They can't give this item away until the messenger arrives with the rod. Stick with the prod! Prod with the prod! A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent takedown. Sorry, I had to. That's why the lady couldn't leave her village, you see. Say, Link, do you have any idea who this messenger to the heavens might be? Or even what the rod is? I'm curious! Oh, I can't even use it here. Wait, it's... What's this? Ah, it's skywriting. Where in places did you get this? I don't suppose this could be the word that breaks the seal. Uh, There's actually supposed to be a whole bit of dialogue before that, but I just skipped it, I guess. He's researching the statues because they're tied to the people in the heavens, which is the city in the sky in the Ugra. R right, let's try it out. Oh, that power stance. A reaction. So it is not the statue. Uh, Link, thanks ever so. You have brought me one step closer to solving this puzzle. I shall give the book back to you. 
Now I shall try out this word on other statues. I've made the rounds of these statues so many times that I've memorized their locations. I will place marks on your map so you can find them, in case you wish to track me down. Remember, every one of those marks is near an owl statue. Now if you'll excuse me. This is the site of a glitch in the Wii version, if you had the launch version of Twilight Princess. Ah, my rod is functional again. Power has returned to my rod. The writing in the book was a spell that imbued the staff with magic. Now you can do the up to the other statues, which you did before. So he did say he would mark them on your map wherever there was a statue, didn't he? You should go check out those spots, right, Mike? You can actually glitch through this statue and get to uh, the next part of the game without doing the sequence. I don't do that because I don't have the patience to get the angle right. But uh, once that statue is removed, there is a glitch in the Wii version where if you save your game when the statue and Shad have moved, but Shad hasn't left the room, uh, he'll disappear when you reload but Midna still thinks he's there, so you can't transform into Wolf Link and transport what's in that room, which prevents you from finishing the game. Because you literally need that, uh... You literally need what's in that room. Otherwise you can't get to the city in the sky. Alright, so we got one here. One in the desert. Also, this is why it's important to get uh, to fix the Bridge of Elden as well. Because it unlocks that warp. Two there. Input buffering? Okay, nerd. Get a lot of this nerd in chat, guys. He does input bu- I'm just messing. Yeah, I don't have the patience to learn it. That's something I've actually mentioned to you before. The reason why I probably wouldn't speedrun too many 3D games is uh, getting angles right. Because it can be a bit of a nightmare. You can adjust angles. <sighs> Look, I did the first person. But I also struggle with input buffering, which is a problem in and of itself for me. Couple of these statues actually lead to hard pieces. This one, I believe, just opens up a shortcut. the chicken I had for lunch. Oh yeah, and every time you interact with that little pad, it fucking resets the statue, even if you moved it to where it needs to be. There's some yes, yes, I know.
I think this one doesn't. Oh wait, no, there's something. Yeah. Oh, hello. All right, we're probably gonna get a hard piece early. All right, let's take them here. Also, the marks don't go away. Apparently, a path through here that I haven't been through yet. I won't worry too much about the, uh... That's a choo-choo. Heart piece thing. Right, some of these are actually just ruby chests. Oh, there's a cave over there I can get a hard piece on. I'll worry about that during my next session. Or at least after sitting in the sky. My clock turned off again. Did I? Hold on a second. Uh, never mind. I'll actually worry about that later. I think my clock might be unplugged. Because it turned off again. I need to, uh, figure out what the fuck is causing that. Right? Don't worry about it in the morning, I guess. Uh, wait a minute, I don't wanna... Thank <laughs> you. 
Is that the thunderstorm that I hear outside, or is there a very large and angry animal in our yard? I hope it's the thunderstorm. I would prefer that over. Oh, there's one of you fuckers up here, too. We got a hard piece uh, early, I guess. I think I got the thing already. Yeah, I did. Yes, one of these here is an amphitheater. I don't actually know what the other one is. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, that is thunder. pieces already from these because I think only two of them are hard pieces but it might actually be three there's something that I've always wanted to try and I'm gonna try it doesn't work. That's lame. For the old troll physics rage comics. That's so lame that it doesn't work. Come on. <laughs> like Thomas Edison shutting down Tesla's work on free energy. Fuck the... Oh, there's a bug here. Oh, whatever. It was nice to have the game on Wii U, but man, oh man, did the fucking Miiverse stamp bullshit piss me off. Like, I would be playing the... I would actually be using the Wii U just for Twilight Princess playthroughs if it weren't for the Miiverse stamp because it literally ruins the experience for me. Because of how few rupee chests you get in the Wii U version. Because they're all fucking replaced with stamps. 
Fauna, it is a single... Oh my god. I still like Twilight Princess HD. But it is not my favorite version of the game. Not by a long shot. Alright, no matter what I do... Uh... Desert. I already screwed up. It would be really great if I actually could. slightly off. I was just trying to fix my art there. Never mind. This is, I think, actually perfectly spaced. Holy shit, it is perfectly spaced. God damn. So only two of them are heart pieces. Got it. Alright, time to talk to Shad again. Alright, Shaddykins. Brain just went Shaddy Daddy, but I don't like that. I don't like this conversation anymore. And I'm the one who started it. apologizing for saying that by the way like I mean you, if you're coming into my stream you know I'm gonna say some cursed bullshit like that because it's just who I am I am cringe but I am free <laughs> I 
Is your book, nerd? Is this that book from last time? Are there more letters in the word than the last time I looked at this? Why don't you investigate the- Look, this is amazing! Amazing! Now, this must be the word we need. Let's try it immediately. It's taken on the same shape as the other statues. What can this mean? I thought we had solved the last of the riddles. Blast, how confounding. I must apologize, Link. I need to cool off a tad before I mold the problem further. I feel a sneeze coming. Okay! We will never use the Dominion Rod again. Not even joking, we no longer need it for anything. We no longer need the ball and chain either, except for one ball and chain last fight. Link? How in places did you move that statue? And what's this? Amazing! Spectacular! This must be the sky cannon I read about in my father's notes. I knew that my intuition was onto something when it led me here. Mm. How can one use this to get to the city in the sky? Mm. Stunning. I feel almost nervous. Just think, if we can get this to work, we could actually reach the city in the sky. Mm. Cannon, huh? You what are you planning to do with this, Link? Except that guy's still watching us. So yeah, this is the glitch. Uh, even if you tell him to move, if you save and reload this, he won't be here, but Minda will still say he is. And it softlocks the game. Essentially. Ah. Perhaps I'm in your way? Well, forgive me for not realizing. I should just disappear at times like this, really. So, let me know the results another time, Link. Ah, yes. Let me give you one last piece of advice. That seems to be broken, so you do well to show it to a cannon expert first, I should say. Farewell. Where have we seen a cannon expert? I wonder if I put him off. Alright, I'm going to... Back out of here. Now, let me warp the cannon first. I'm gonna have to come back here because I need arrows. There's arrows in the sending in the sky shop, actually, if I remember correctly. There aren't any shops in this game. Bagger? <coughs> There actually is a shop at Death Mountain, but you never really need to use it. It's in the hot spring. There's no Zora shop. so hooked on fantastication that you tried to build your own cannon. So are you gonna give me the tour or what? Looks like you have a serious rig over there. Hey. Oh, It's kind of retro, huh? There's no ignition device so you can't even use it. Somebody, I suppose I might be able to fix it for you. I mean, maybe. 
As if you can pay me 300 rupees in advance. What do you say? <laughs> I knew you'd see the light, buddy. I'll just be a sir. Alright, I'm probably gonna cash in at, uh... Agatha real quick as well. I try to get back my rupees. I'm not going back to the owl statues. Here we go, buddy. All working as it should. I think. It looks like junk, but this thing's got some powerful innards. I'm going to be knocking on the door to the heavens. Seriously, bud, it might be rough. So I'm sorry for soaking you for the dough. I'll leave you alone, man. <laughs> you just have all the fun you want, okay, buddy? I got the first. Then right, back to Kakariko. I don't think you can actually tell him anything. What happens if you leave here without giving her all her or all your bugs? She'll literally just go. I know you have bugs. <clears throat> yes, yes. Yeah, I'm not reading these. If you give her the slug, she mentions something about bathing in slime. Not slug, snail. I still don't get why they put her, of all characters, in uh, Hyrule Warriors. She's not even important to the plot of Twilight Princess. You never have to go in here.
girl's got problems. And then we can actually do City in the Sky. I know there is a shop in the City in the Sky, but I think Mallow Mart might have better prices. After I uh, get to the City in the Sky, I am going to need to step away for a moment to get a drink. shop in Castletown that is overcharging for its products. That's actually part of the Mallow Mart side quest, which gets you the magic armor, which you don't actually need unless you're bad at the game or you're doing the Cave of War deals. I would fill my third bomb bag with this for uh, item completion's sake, but I'm not going to do that. I've never actually used the bomblings, and I don't know what purpose they serve. Alright, it's probably faster if I... <laughs>
Phew, gracious, we made it back. Finally. Welcome, adventurer. This is the Sky City of the Uka. Or, since you came all this way, I guess I can give you a tour of the city. Eek! Alright, see you, Bell. Ooh, goodness, brave adventurer, you won't believe it. It's a dragon raging outside the city walls. Oh, I'm terribly worried about everyone. I'm gonna check in at the shop for the survivors. I don't know why. I'm good. I'm good. Not really, but I'm good. Okay. Ooh, I'm sorry for earlier adventure. Ooh, but you're planning on walking around the city and taking it in, right? I'm worried about the others, and this is an emergency. I can't just stand around waiting. Please take me too. I won't help you warp to, warp to the surface, but I will bring you back to the shop any time. Save while I have this open. I need to get a drink. And I will be right back. So, just give me a moment.
Yeah, but a baba. Some uh, Star Fox sound, fo sound effects. Oh, you mean like that? <laughs> it's the fastest way to get through here without having to constantly take on and off the boots. I am efficient. Not really. I hate this dungeon. Ooh, thing is uh, awfully tangy tonight. Up. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're all dying. You happy? No, the Uka can do that. Fuck you, I don't know how long I need you. No, 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 get up, go up, go up. Oh my god.
This is gonna be a long stream. Also, of course, it resets the room every fucking time. This is no checkpoints. I definitely press A in time game if you are watching. So Zeno, shut the fuck up before you say anything. Just shut the fuck up. You see that uh, switch? We need to get to that. This dungeon can eat my ass. God, I just... You know the panic calm meme? That, that CG face? The Uka just looked like that. I can't unsee it now, and I hate it. Sir, I'm in need of your services.
guess that's my way back in or something. Glenn, can you go through the grate, please? Okay, fine. the uh clicking clack of GameCube triggers. Uh, you gotta be careful where you grab the vines from because sometimes it'll just drop. <clears throat> By the way, we came in here literally to grab the key and we're leaving. This dungeon's weird, man.
It's the dungeon map. Hooray! Now we just gotta... I think if I just roll through there really fast, I'll be fine. Yeah. Because I cannot wear the iron bits. Or I will just walk it. Pocket, I guess. Oh, yeah. We're gonna be seeing some enemies from the forest temple here. Oh, that's a bull one, that's right. One of those guys. Finally have a use for the Gale Boomerang again. If you do it right, you can just flung them right off the edge. I suppose it is easier. I never thought of doing that before. I can't believe I've never thought of that before. That's actually much easier than trying to fight them normally. Smack my head. 
it's right there I had an itch. Time to hit that yoinky splanky. I've referenced the yoinky splanky meme to Soro before, and she really did not like it. Alright, you know what? Purple rookie. It's purple. Go <laughs> oh, up, you dumbass. I was gonna say, buddy, I kinda need you. hurts. This is an aerial foes. Aerial foes? Something like that. Which was introduced in this game. It's a bit derpy one.
come down, buddy? I just realized I don't know where the hard pieces are in this dungeon. <laughs> I hope I haven't missed them. I do not want to come back here. Yeah, another claw shot. Oh yeah, and then we got two claw shots. Your tendency to skip things that I need for my run is a bit of a problem for me, brother. Alright, now let's witness uh, Link breaking his arm. Oh wait, you get to see that a little better in a different room. Oh, he just fucking breaks his arm trying to claw shot up stuff. It's the compass. Holy shit, it's the compass. This is actually below the room we were in earlier. Oh, excuse me. There's another chimkin burp. All I'm gonna taste for the rest of the night is the damn chicken.
There's no way to get to that early, is there? I don't think so. Alright, well now I can get through here. Actually, wait a minute. <coughs> Go through the other one first. Yeah, I know one of them is in an area that has a po in it. With the uh, little floating side rooms. Not floating side rooms, but uh, the floating grassy rooms that are outdoors and there's pea hats. There's a po by one of the hard pieces. I don't know if that's the one that you're thinking of, but that's the one that I remember. I don't know where the other heart piece is. Fairly close to each other. the uh, reference to my uh, or reference of my stream title except I think I actually explained it to you this morning when I said it I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before but I actually uh, pick my stream titles well in advance there's a creepy looking shadow Oh! Alright. I'm gonna just assume that that chest is not important. Also going to send that one. I haven't been in here. Oh, this fucker again.
Hello, where did you come from? Is this the only one I can grab? That's not what I thought it was. fly in my room once again. I am sick of all the flies in this goddamn house. I have to fucking set up a fly trap at this point. Oh god. Came all the way over here for nothing. Have I mentioned that I hate this dungeon? When I was a kid, this was the dungeon that I never finished. Oops. This is what stopped me from finishing the game as a kid. to reset the day Kubaga or Bombas. Yes, of course it would.
Ah, I see. I didn't see this before. Okay. Oh. Wait for the button to work on the press it. Purple. I'm going to say purple every time I see purple. What is life without a little one? See? are called pea hats. They were enemies in uh, some previous Zelda games with just claw shot, or claw shot targets. Now. Yeah, they've been in the they've been in the franchise since the first. But uh I don't actually think they've been seen since Twilight Princess, and they aren't even enemies in Twilight Princess. I don't think they were in Scarlet Sword, and I don't think they were in uh Link Between Worlds. By the way, if anyone here has not played a Link Between Worlds, uh you need to fucking fix that. It is That's not the one I wanted. <laughs> A Link Between Worlds is one of the best Zelda games ever, and I think way too many people sleep on it. Uh, Solar Moon Eclipses. Nice of you to join. Uh, I find it funny the games are called Legend of Zelda when Link does all the work. Well, originally it was about the, I guess, the, the, the legend of Zelda, where Link is trying to... Well, that's not a heart piece? I guess it's the other chest. Where it was supposed to be Link, I guess, find... Oh, he can come up here! Okay, you're dying. Something about Link trying to... Hyrule Fantasy was its own genie. Well, in Japan, but yeah. So I thought the Japanese name was The Legend of Zelda, The Hyrule Fantasy, or something like that. No, not him. Oh. Can you fucking target the right enemy, huh? Yeah, the series has always been named after Zelda, even though you just play as Link. But I guess the idea was Zelda was a legendary person or something. I mean, it doesn't even make sense in canon. Because Link is the hero, not Zelda. I guess the Legend of Zelda just sounds better. Oh, have you never seen uh, Twilight Princess before? 
uh, that's what the pose look like in this. Do you remember the ghosts from Ocarina of Time? They are wisps with sides. Oh, uh, well, funny thing is, this is like the third to last dungeon in the game. I will actually be finishing the game tomorrow. So, you picked a an absolutely wonderful time to join the game. I do post my vaunts to my uh, second YouTube channel. Yeah, uh, this is the City in the Sky, which is the last regular dungeon in the game. So we are actually in the heavens, and this is supposed to be the remnants of Skyloft from Skyward Sword, even though they came out after this. The Uka live here, which are bird people that have visible nipples for some reason, and are, have the head of that one meme that's in the Panic Calm meme format. We'll probably see an Uka in a bit. I fucking hate the Uka. I also hate this dungeon! This is one of my least favorite dungeons in the entire series, as a matter of fact. Because it is confusing to navigate. And it is fucking frustrating at times. Right, I need to follow that trail. Purple Merkel. I'd rather give him the old dick twist first. You just back off, buddy. Not e Oh, God. No, 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 no. Blink. Alright, note to self, shoot the birds. I believe it's called Helmarocks. They're a little easier to hit than the piece. Uh, these are key hats. They are flying plant things. They're actually from other Zelda games, because you can find them in a lot of the older ones. They've been in the series since the original. They're not actually enemies in this game, though. They're just used for claw shot targets. They're used all over the place in this dungeon. There we go. Three more for another full heart container. Yeah, and, and yeah, I've been playing this game since I was a teenager. I said kid earlier, but a teenager is more accurate. Uh, I've actually never made that connection before, so now I can't unsee it, so thanks for that. Uh oh, it re Alright, hold on, I gotta shoot the birds again. All right, you know what? Oh, it's fine. That was me just joking around. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, no, that's not Helm Rock. That's, uh, Arg Rock. That's the fucking dragon. I'm actually surprised that went through. You're fine, Solo. Don't, don't, sailor. Don't, don't worry. I missed the Helm Rock. Uh, this might be a problem. This room, this room can eat a dick. So Zeno, you say if I just mash the button while going forward, oh, oh my god, it really does work. Ah, 
I think I've actually heard of that, Sailor. Just curious, what Zelda games have you played? As I have lost track of uh, how many times I've played this game. And I've played most of the Zelda games. Is a chest. Okay, is this the? Oh, this is the big room. All right, buddy. I was gonna let you live. Oh, I got one of his hats going up. Fit in my wallet, so I guess I'll put it back. Ooh, they're all the same fucking shape. Just pull out one of the green ones, like. Play Ocarina of Time and a Game Boy one where he yells, hi -ya. Well, there are three Game Boy ones if you're not counting the Game Boy Advance, so that doesn't really narrow it down. Uh, Ocarina of Time is a good one. I actually will be streaming it at some point, but it'll... Alright, well that's just bullshit. Uh, I'll be streaming it at some point. I know that game a little better than I know this game, because I've been playing it for longer. Tightropes can be a little finicky. There is a Poe at the top up here, uh -oh. but I'm not going to bother with him. Used to love to hit the chickens. I did that a lot as a kid, and I learned my lesson real fast. Oh, there's the Poe. Stay over there, buddy. What are you, doing? you mind your business, and I'll mind mine. Yeah, I don't fight the chickens anymore, because uh, I have uh, pet burbs, and chickens are burbs, so... Burbs. Funny thing is, Link was actually a furry before. Okay, I'm gonna stick here. Before Twilight Princess, because in a Link to the Past, the form he takes when in the Dark World is a pink rabbit. So he's been a furry. Fan is off, I can go into the room below. Oh, here's the boss key. So, if you've played Ocarina of Time, I actually would highly recommend you play Twilight Princess because this game has a shitload of callbacks to Ocarina of Time. Because the idea for this game was to do a better uh, poker at time. Do I know what the choo choo are? Yes, they're the little blobs. Uh, they're actually in this game. There were some earlier in this dungeon, as a matter of fact. 
There are actually two unused items you can get in this game that involve the choo-choos. Oops. Uh, red choo-choos give you a red potion, essentially. Purple choo-choos do random things. I think they normally just damage you. Yellow choo-choos give you lantern oil. Blue choo-choos act as a blue potion. Well, if you can get a blue and yellow choo-choo to merge, which can only really happen in the water temple, you can get a green choo-choo, which gives you a green potion that has text in the game that says it does nothing because it's tied to the removed magic meter. There is a black choo-choo that you can't spawn under normal circumstances. But if you are somehow able to get a black choo-choo to spawn, uh, you'll actually get a black potion that has no text because it doesn't do anything. slow down their noises to a certain amount the whole the noise is actually two men arguing in Japanese that's funny I think I've actually heard that before I am dangerously low on arrows I think I'll be fine okay. all right well you in Wind Waker. Yeah, I haven't actually finished Wind Waker. There's a way to briefly make it look like Link is breaking his arm. Yeah, I've seen those memes. Eyes in the prize and all that. chest. Hey, unless my eyes deceive me, that's a chest. Purple. Okay, I think this is the room where you can actually get Link in a really weird position. And there's arrow foes. Alright, I would like arrows. Please don't just drop hearts. They're just going to drop hearts, goddammit. Alright. like this weapon. This weapon's cool. I have four arrows. I would like more than that. stuff.
Well, unfortunately, grabbing an enemy with the uh, claw shot doesn't actually do much. It'll either just stun the enemy or pull you to the enemy. It doesn't actually pull the enemy to you. I would very much like arrows. Alright, never mind. Those are the aerial foes, and they are the exception to the rule. Alright, uh -oh. right, well, yeah, the flying enemies, the aerial foes, it does that to uh, you, but only when they're actually in the air. Oh, Argor Arc already. Okay. <laughs> Well, thankfully, I don't need. What's? I don't need the bow, but I will need the. Uh, nine boots. Yeah, and it'll only drag the arrow foes to you when they're airborne. If they're grounded, they'll actually pull you towards it. Alright, this boss fight is actually kind of lame. Oops. Like, as much as I love this game, a lot of the bosses are actually, uh, fairly... Wait. Eh. Oh. A lot of the bosses are actually kind of lame. Also drag the rocks to me. No, well, that is true. Ganon is the pig. Ganondorf is the man. Uh, both are technically his true form. Ganondorf is the man born to the uh, Gerudo. He's always referred to as the King of Thieves in uh, most of the games. That's Ganondorf. Ganon is the form he takes when he is powered by the Triforce of Power. Even in the Links of the Past, which is the first time we see or we see the name Ganondorf, they still call him the King of Thieves and say that he became Ganon when he touched these, uh, trifles. But both are canon because depending on the game, he'll take one of or both the forms. In Breath of the Wild, you only see Ganon. Nah, this is just our rock. This is a dragon. Another lame looking dragon. Alright, we're good. Right, I don't think I need to get up top yet. Wait, is Demise actually possessing Ganondorf? I didn't know that part. I I don't remember that. I thought... Demise was reincarnated as Ganondorf. Because Demise's hatred for the goddess and the hero would, uh... Would... Also, yeah, I've seen Ruby. I'm actually uh, fully caught up. I've been waiting for Volume 8 for about half a year. Actually, almost a full year right now. Uh, Zeno... Zeno Garden is my brother, by the way, and he literally bullied me into... Uh, bullied me into watching all of Ruby. I was already planning on it. He just bullied me into doing it when I did. Wait, did he bully me? 
I said volume 9, not volume 8. Oh, you wanna tango up top, eh? Well, how about I just climb up there to get you? Did I say eight? I thought I said volume nine. Well, this would have predated the uh, Ender Dragon battle by about. Oh, I did say eight. I swear I said one. Uh, this would predate Minecraft by about three years because this came out in 2006 and Minecraft didn't come out until 2009. All right, now the real fight begins. Unfortunately, it's kind of just more of the same. And here's the P-Hats. Wow, it really does look like Chocophobia. Listen, I am just a small bean who's very tired at all times of the day. You can't expect me to get numbers right. Because remember, I'm gay, I can't do math, and math includes counting. That's not actually what I want. Alright, so we basically just do this until you reach fire. There is a joke that if you are gay, you can either drive or do now. And I joke that I have failed being gay because I can do neither. Like, I'm decent at math, but if, if, if I have to do anything more complicated than the uh, regular equation, I kind of just... Oh, God. Yeah, it's, it's just a joke in the LGBT community. If you're gay, you either do math or you can drive. Technically, I can do math. Because I most certainly cannot. Uh, I don't care, honestly. I mean, my brother's straight. This is an inclusive and welcoming community. So we, we don't care. As long as you're a pleasant person, that's really all that matters. Gay, straight, trans, cis, black, white, Asian, it not matter. We are all good beings here. This part of the song does give me goosebumps in every boss thing. Yeah, Argonaut, if you could not do that, that would be very nice. Up, 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 up. It's a little sketchy. Oh, we're good. That's not what I wanted, but... Uh, I will be ending the stream uh, shortly after this boss fight. I've been alive for almost three hours. Tomorrow I will probably go live. By the way, I will probably go live an hour or so early because uh, I tend to do the last two dungeons in this game in one scene. For one session. I don't know. I haven't. 
No, 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 no. And that's our rock down. Yeah, I was, you know, I was fully expecting that fire to hit me, because I know the hitbox is bullshit. Also, uh, I think I've said this already, but I have played through this game countless times. I adore this game. It's one of my favorite GameCube games. It's probably my favorite Zelda game. Link, you did it. It's the fourth shard. Now we have them all. Hey, Link. The words of the sages. Do you remember them? Only the true ruler of the twilight can destroy the mirror of twilight. Zan could only break the mirror of twilight in the shards. Couldn't utterly shatter it. That's proof of his false kingship. Link, we have to hurry. It's in the mirror chamber. After all, a fake is a fake. No matter how much you dress it up, the real thing always wins. You got a heart container. Yay! How many heart pieces do I have? I think that's two. I don't know why I'm saving here, because it'll give me a save prompt in the mama. Get you out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this... I guess I'll just... end here. As soon as I get out of this, uh, menu. And the, uh, cuts in afterwards, I guess. I can talk to Minda while I'm swimming. I didn't know I could do that. I, I just wanted to see if I could. Alright, right, I'm gonna plot myself in Kakariko and stock up on arrows and then I will quit there.
I missed several shots. I was also kind of wasting some during the arrow foes fights. Kind of on accident. Well, I mean, entirely on accident. I, I, I mean, it would just be the... <laughs> did it on purpose, which is not what happened. Alright, double save, because I'm paranoid. Alright. Thank you all for joining. I will be back tomorrow with the rest of the game, and I'll probably be starting an hour early. So I can make sure I finish on time. Especially if there's any, like, cleanup I need to do at the end. Uh... Classes are starting up for me, so I'm hoping I'll be able to stick to my schedule. I will say that on Friday, or sorry, Wednesday, I will be starting my next game, which will be Human Fall Flat with Xeno. So y'all get to see the absolute morons that we become when we try to solve puzzles together. I am looking forward to having that bullshit recorded, honestly. So. target and it will be Kisaka again as she is a good bean and deserves all the love and support. <laughs>